All right, folks. Normally, I would say it's time once again to do another Lash Key food review. But today, old Lash Key here, we're going to make you a sub. It is getting toward the end of the month. And another YouTuber, good friend of mine, you know, we got a little friendly competition going on to see who can make the better sub. We all know that's going to be me, of course. <laughs> because I've got an idea for a sub that I'm going to make within this video that'll make big country subs wet their pants. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. All right, folks, so the Sub Wars is on. And uh, I have yet to respond to Jesse's response to me. So this is my response to him making my sub today. I'm going in here to this food line. And I'm going to get my bread for my sub. Now... Making my own bread is not an option for me, so I am going to buy some. And uh, I think theirs is pretty good in here. I've had some of their sub bread before, and I may get, you know, the uh, smaller subs here. You know, if I can find the smaller sub bread. You know, so uh, we can make it a family event, you know. But uh, anyway, let's go pick out our bread. All right, so I'm out of the food line now. And I looked at their bread in there, and uh, it was pretty expensive. So what I wound up with instead is something that was a little more reasonable for me to get. I'll show it to you in a second, as soon as I can get it out of the bag here. And as soon as I get situated in this parking lot. So, they had the full-size bread uh, of a really big sub. I mean, it was wide and thick, and it didn't make a lot of sense for a presentation. I was looking for something a little more normal uh, sub length, you know, sort of like a yeah, a sub bread, you know, from uh, like from Subway, you know, like a 12-inch sub, you know, a normal one. What I wound up with, and, and they had the small bag of them, but they had four per bag, and they wanted like five dollars and some change for like five dollars 79 cent for four pieces of sub roll so i got these and this is uh wonder bread and as you can see that is uh sub rolls in itself and uh these actually are much softer and feel more sub like than what the grocery store in there was offering so and i got two bags of these uh for about eight dollars for the both it was both of them were three dollars and some change so <laughs> instead of four pieces of small bread i got six pieces of small bread for about a dollar cheaper uh <laughs> and which gives me uh 12 sub options to make uh with what i'm making here which we will talk about more in a little while all right we'll see you in a bit all right so i am coming out of this meat market here. Now I did not buy my meat for my subs at this meat market. Right now, the prices are a little high on meats. So I got my meat already this morning at another grocery store. I did not take my camera with me, but I, they had a good sale on chuck roast and I've got it at home. The sale was so good, I bought three of them for what I could almost pay for one of them inside this meat market here. But the one thing I did have to come here for was my seasoning, my rub. Now, you see a lot of channels out there, they make their own rub, you know, by mixing a whole bunch of different spices together and combining them in a bowl. <laughs> uh, I've seen a lot, of, a lot of them do what I'm about to do different ways. Uh, so I guess there's really not a wrong way to do it. I've seen some use cumin in there, some not use cumin in there. 
coriander, some not used coriander. So I got this. This is what I use on my, when, I, when I'm doing a barbecue at home and I'm cooking a good old Boston butt roast, this is the rub I use, butt rub. And it's got everything under the sun listed as an ingredient from coriander to smoked paprika, regular paprika, uh, garlic, uh, onion, you name it. It's all in here already. So it is like the perfect rub mix already. And uh, it's already mixed up. I don't have to do anything uh, special with it except keep it on hand which I did not have any left, you know, that should tell you how much I use the stuff. But it is going on my roast. We're gonna cook all this in the Instant Pot and we're gonna eat us a sandwich out of it later. Now, <laughs> I got me, while I was in the Food Lion grocery store, I did not mention a while ago, I got me some pepper and onion already cut us a whole onion a whole green pepper and a whole red pepper already cut up that is going in my sandwich sorry about that we had an overheating issue like us like i was saying those peppers and onions i'm using those in my sandwich recipe as well so it's kind of gonna be like a roast beef uh, you know like a street taco type of mix but it's cool we're gonna make a sub out of it kind of you know like a like a, a shredded a shredded beef that goes mainly you know in you know street tacos and stuff like that but you know it can go in anything uh, we've been making this type of thing all my life and putting it on sandwiches for as long as I can remember so yeah it's definitely gonna make some good subs that is what we're going for today and uh hey don't hate on me because i bought my my onion and pepper already chopped you're welcome to chop your own if you want to but that is a perfect situation right there i can just dump all this in the pot get my meat rubbed down and i can get to going now there's one more thing that i have to pick up to get the uh perfect sub situation going on uh, you know because you know i am in a competition here right <laughs> and uh i am in it to win it so uh we gotta get we gotta get the uh the secret sauce going and we won't tell you about the secret sauce right away but uh i will tell you where i get the secret sauce right here at your local dollar general now you're probably wondering what kind of sauce comes out of the Dollar General that could possibly make the sandwich you're talking about even better? Don't worry, you'll see. I'll show you soon enough. All right, so I got my secret sauce, and I also wanted to briefly mention I'm going to be putting in this whole, what is that, a quart? This whole 32 ounce. <laughs> container of beef stock in my roast as well and I will be combining that with this big can of tomato paste all of that is going to go a long way toward creating the flavor of my roast beef that I am going to be making subs out of I say roast beef, but it's more like a shredded beef, you know, kind of like you make, you know, street tacos from. But we're going to be doing it all in the Instapot. Now, Big Country and myself, my, my friend, we, we, did, we have both agreed on making our recipes in the Instapot to make it a fair head-on-head -head competition. Now, I have no idea what he's cooking up in his Instapot, and uh, he didn't have any idea of kind of what I was doing until today when I showed him that I was using the uh, <laughs> the chuck roast but I don't think he has any idea that I was kind of making the uh, shredded beef uh, style of uh, of a sandwich yeah, so that's what I'm making a shredded beef sub you know kind of you know street taco style but uh, 
with the latch key spin on it. And uh, before we get too overheated, I wanted to show you also where I come out of the Dollar General now. And this is the secret sauce that I got. I got two different varieties of it. Hopefully I got one of each. I did. But anyway, I got this Velveeta. This is the regular Velveeta here. I got that for the the, 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 the people who doesn't like the spicy. Oh, where did the other one go? Did I lose it? Did I lose it? So I also got Oh, that is the original. Okay. I got the original and I got the jalapeno, okay? I got the jalapeno for myself and anyone else who wants to uh, have a little bit of spicy sauce on there. So, you know, with this, you don't really need a condiment and you don't really need a sauce because when this thing cooks up, it's going to be juicy. The vegetables are already going to be in there with that pepper and onion. Uh, basically, you just dip it out and uh, there is your sandwich your shredded beef sandwich uh, but uh, hey I, I thought that would be pretty good to add some cheese on now I could have you know bought some heavy cream and some jalapenos you know and some cheddar cheese and melted it down on the stove myself and made my own cheese sauce I have done it before I have done it to death and to be honest with you that is just as good you get a fair amount in this package of, of cheese right here you get a pretty good amount and you could spread that one package there over several subs and it's only a dollar a pack and uh hey seemed like a no-brainer to me all right now we're gonna go home and we are going to get into uh making this uh shredded beef sub street taco style sub. <laughs> I guess you call it Mexican shredded beef style sub. Uh, what did it say? Shredded beef sub. There you go. Shredded beef sub. Let's get into it. All right, so we got this clean pan laid out here, and I'm using uh, chuck, beef chuck, for my roast. And uh, I want to cook a lot, so I've got two of them. And I placed them in my clean pan and I got the rub I was telling you about earlier. I used this, uh, uh, it's called butt rub. <laughs> and it's uh, kind of an all-purpose rub. It's got just about everything you could think of in it, you know, uh, like I explained earlier in the video. You just want to cover the sides and both sides of the uh, roast really well with the rub you don't have to overdo it on the rub it's basically just for flavor and for tenderizing next I'm going to uh, use this method here uh, what I'm doing now is I got a large can of tomato paste and we're just gonna add that to the instapot and we got some uh, beef stock a whole container of beef stock I'm gonna pour about half in there and then I'm going to mix up the tomato paste and the beef stock really well you know get it good and combined in there uh, and it can rest on the bottom I mean because this thing once it starts to pressure cook all of that is going to blend together so I got my peppers and onion in there it's about a whole onion and two bell peppers one red one green use whatever you like place your steaks on top or your beef chuck on top and then the rest of your beef stock into the instapot simple as that turn the instapot on then we're gonna dial it up to about an hour and a half and then we're just gonna sit on it and we're gonna wait so I'm just sitting here in my studio and it is about time for my shredded roast to get done. Let's go check it out. Alright, so it is a moment of truth time and look at the steam coming out of this Instapot. That roast looks good and done and the smell 
that is coming out of that pot is amazing. Oh my God, and the beef is so tender. I gotta be real careful with it. Look at that. This is my test piece. Oh yeah, so basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it in a plate and shred it up and make a sandwich out of it. Give it a little taste test. Oh yeah, I'm here to tell you what, that is some good, good sandwich meat right there. All right, so, oop. Gotta get it on the fork. All right, now that we got some on the plate, got a couple of those uh, onions and peppers on there as well. We're going to get us a good plate full here, and we're going to make us up a, a sandwich so I can test it out in front of all of y'all, let you know how good it is. Of course, you can already see how tender it is and how it just shreds up. Kind of like street taco style shredded beef. I'm going to make sure I get some of the uh, vegetables in there. Uh, I want a good many of the uh, pepper and onion in there. There we go. Get a good many in there, you know, because uh, that's important part of the sandwich right there, folks. That and some of the juice. There we go. That looks about right. Now I take one of the sub rolls that I bought earlier and I slice it not quite all the way through fold it open and we'll get to building this sandwich right now so look at that I'm gonna try to get all of that on the sandwich oh my god y'all I tell you what y'all have no idea no idea now this is pretty easy to make so I do recommend it to anyone watching this who wants to try it you cannot go wrong and, and you know you could also use this for street tacos as well uh, or just get you some uh, some hamburger buns or sandwich bread. Mm -hmm. All right, the final thing I wanted to try out on this is this uh, Velveeta jalapeno cheese sauce. I'm just going to decorate some on here, close it up, and it doesn't need anything else, folks. This is the sandwich right here. This is all you need. Look at that. My... Alright, let's go try this bad boy out. We'll let you know how it is. Alright, folks. Moment of truth time. This is my masterpiece. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. Oh my god. <clears throat> now I didn't even need the cheese sauce at all. It is good <laughs> on its own. I promise you, you can't go to any sub restaurant and get a sub as good as this. Look at that. That roast beef is the bomb. That Red roast beef, pulled taco style. Man, it don't get any better than this. The peppers and the onions cooked in there. There is more meat on this uh, little six inch sub <laughs> than what you get at any of the restaurants, I guarantee you.
Now it is a little messy. I may warn you that. But it's worth it. That is the best. Shredded roast beef I have ever made. Just use whatever spices you like to rub it down. But the beef stock and the tomato paste is a must for this sandwich. As well as the peppers and onion. Alright folks, I hope you enjoyed cooking with Latchkey. <laughs> I will put a link down in the description to Big Country's channel so you can see what kind of sub he creates and let you judge for yourself. And uh whatever sub he creates I may try to create recreate later down the road and I hope he tries mine because oh boy this dang was good alright folks that is all I got for this one till the next one y'all have a good one <laughs>